hello everyone and welcome back to our channel this video is a tutorial on how to use midjourney to create ui ux app designs so what is midjourney well it is a platform that can help you create whatever you want in terms of ai it is a discord dependent platform so if you have an account on discord you can use midjourney now this video is about ux and ui first of all let's look at what is ux and ui over here you can see uh, we are on this side that's going to differentiate between ux and ui design and the main difference is that ux is for the human first approach to product design and ui is the human first approach to designing the aesthetic experience of a product so basically ux is the design and ui is the interface so uh, ui stands for user interface what it will do is it will help you design the interface and ux is how the people are going to experience it now you can create a ux ui design using midjourney well how you can do that is first of all let's open midjourney and you can see that this is the home page you can sign in if you have a, uh, an account or if you don't have one you can click the join the beta button over here and for that you will need to link your discord with midjourney and authorize it this video is about creating ux ui designs with midjourney if you google about it underneath images you can see so many are there over here yeah this is something this is what we are going to try to create using um, midjourney today so as i said midjourney is a platform that needs your discord account so if you click on join the beta you will need to authorize midjourney to connect to your discord account so make sure that you are signed into your discord account it's very simple to join discord it's an app available even on your phone so if you click on open discord you can see that it'll take you to the login page and if you want you can sign up over here if you've already logged in, it'll take you to your account. And I've already joined Midjourney over here. Uh, so this is how it will be once you connect your Discord with your uh, Midjourney. Clicking the Join the Beta will help you connect your Discord to Midjourney. And that's how it's going to be. It's opening. You will need to click on Accept Invite. And it will open in your Discord app. And you can see that uh, here Midjourney is what we are on right now. Now to do anything with Midjourney, what you need to do is add a server. It's pretty simple actually. All you need to do is click on this plus icon on the left side bar. And it says add a server. You need to click on create my own. Let's skip this question for now. Give your server a name and click on the create button. So now that your server has been created, you need to invite or authorize the Midjourney app on it. For that, go to Midjourney and on the left sidebar, you can see there are these rooms. You need to search for a newbie room. Uh, let's enter this room called newbie149. And this is how you can see, uh, this is, these are the purposes that people use Midjourney for. In the room, you're supposed to search for this guy called Midjourney Bot. If you're not able to find them in the room, you'll simply go to the members list on the right side by clicking over here and find Midjourney Bot. Click on add to server and underneath server, you can see the server we created. Click on continue. There are some permissions you need to grant to Midjourney Bot. And these are the permissions that you will grant. Click on authorize if you agree. And once you click on authorize, you will need to confirm that you are a human. So just go ahead and complete that verification as well. And once that is done, you will see this authorized message over here. Let's click on this X icon. Now let's go to our server that we had created for the purpose of UX UI. It'll be here on the left sidebar. This is how it'll look like. Now this is basically a thread or a chat room kind of a thing. So here you will type in your message. Let's first type in forward slash and you can see all the suggestions coming up over here. And we're going to type in imagine so imagine is what is where the magic works and then you will see prompt over here click on prompt and you will need to type in let's type in something like 
UX design of a futuristic app for beauty tips. And then hit on enter and give Midjourney some time to start its process of creating such a design. And you can see the designs are just coming in. Don't get scared as of now. They are just getting processed and at each stage they will get updated or you can see that each time it's getting updated you can see the appearance is changing and we've gotten four versions of our design and over here you can see that beneath the design there are two rows one is u1 to u4 and then v1 to v4 v stands for version u stands for upscaling so if you like any one of these you can create another version of it by clicking on either v1 v2 v3 v4 if you want to upscale any of these you can click on u1 u2 u3 or u4 i kind of like this third one so i'm going to upscale it by clicking on u3 again give the platform some time to upscale the design and this is how you can use the platform to create a design for a futuristic app it does take some time for the bot to work anyway you can see that here it has developed uh, an upscale version of the image that i had selected and you can see it has added some details like some prompts and some buttons etc speaking of prompts and buttons let's go to uh, how you can better uh, your app's appearance so let's go back to our search results of Midjourney's UX UI designs and search for Bootcamp. Let's scroll down and there it is. So just click on it and click on visit. And you can see these are some of the tips of how you can use Midjourney in product design processes, how to supercharge your UX UI design. And let's just scroll down and down and down and you can see there are these tips First is how to design prompts for AI to design UI. So if you assume that you've already got Midjourney and then you're using it for creating a design, the first tip they're giving is get your interface concept across. So think of a visual breakdown like you can see over here. Uh, these are different UX UI futuristic designs. Like this one's kind of a timer thing then there's kfc and then there's a calculator so the first thing is to get your interface concept across like what exactly do you want to give it a name and the first one is fingerprint then there's fried chicken and then there's calculator as an example uh, the second step is ensure you will end up with a screen so once you give a good prompt design for ui uh, you need a reference to screen design or you need an iPhone mock-up or something like that. Uh, so that's what is the step number two as mentioned over here. And then step number three is inspire the style of your UI. You can include guidelines for mid-journey to make the style better. So you can give things or terms like material design, dribble, etc. You will give these uh, guidelines and it will help Midjourney create a good UX UI app for you. And so that is basically how you can use Midjourney to create an app and give it more and more prompts to add more features to your app and give it a design. And once you like a design, you can upscale it or you can even create different versions. So this is how you will be using Midjourney to create a UX UI design. Now that brings this video to an end. We truly hope it has benefited you. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then stay tuned and stay subscribed.